Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG. We are back with more uh, The Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human. This is gonna be a mouthful to start every episode with. Woohoo! We should come up with a, uh, like a short name for it, like... The Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human, the Aquad... I was just gonna say, like, Submarine oh, Metroidvania. Submarine Adventure. Ah, damn! Wow. You're dead. Sorry, folks. You were dead. I actually didn't see what killed me. It could be my colorblind kicking in. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, you ran into a lot of stuff, and then a lot of stuff ran into you. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, too. When you take damage, you tend to get propelled. Um, which, I don't know, like, I, I'm not really against that. I think so long as you use that right in the level design, or with, like, the boss or monster design, mm -hmm. it's not so bad. Oop. Stick to Damn. your ceilings. Or stick to your wall so you actually know it's... So we can shoot these plant things to, uh... Get Whoa. them to stop shooting. Woo. I didn't even yeah. realize that was shooting. Oh, oh yeah. there's a door there, right! Oh, that's what I need to do. Okay, so this is... I actually kind of like this. Because it sort of forces you to, real, to learn that you can shoot them to get them to stop shooting temporarily. But you shoot them, and then suddenly, that a uh, switch... Starts stops getting pulled so you can actually enter here. Why does the switch? Why does shooting them stop the switch? Uh, I guess hitting this that that their little things that they were projecting was hitting that like twirly switch um, uh. And that was keeping the door closed, which is interesting because that's actually the opposite of how most of the switches in this game work Fair enough just gonna oh. go ahead and cut that little umbilical cord, oh. and now we got entrance. Oh, look at you. Mixed you jazz. all smart and stuff. Oh, dang. What did you just get? New upgrade. So basically now, remember the thing with the seahorses that was killing me? Where they were blowing that, like, gust of, uh... The, yeah. Whatever at me. Now you can boost. Now I can just, like, go through it. Oh, so not a boost. It's it's not like a boost. It just means to it, that specific uh, mechanic. Yeah, it, it means yeah exactly. It's like an upgrade to our engines so we can handle the power now, but no boost yet. You have the power. Um, I, I guess it's important to say this little area here had an upgrade that I already picked up while Nathan was dicking around. I was. So, it's it all it was was a uh, whole repair speed upgrade, which is actually super useful. I mean, obviously, super uh, yeah, useful, definitely. but but like Could've we we needed that. <laughs> both of those fights. So we're gonna go in and save real quick. Oh, oh I love station. I love keeping the saw out so that every time we like bump into some random just innocent murdering. animal, just like dead. They're trying to run for you. You're like, no, no. De oh, no, oh, that's not me that time. dead. All right, on to the bigger and better things. Like, uh, so what? In real life, would do this and why? Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! You're gonna die, uh, son. Why can't I move to the left? Something weird was happening. Um, you mean like, what kind of weird plant? Whatever. Just shoot, shoot things? things randomly. Like, Actually, I think there. Well, I mean, I guess there's no such thing as a plant that just like constantly propels things. Uh, we're gonna read that, but first we're gonna get this. But I think I think there actually are some plants that do like rocket propel their spores. Press A to close this message. Maybe it's a mushroom, I but anyway. It. We are fighting for our species, for the good of all life on Earth, ecology through life. Press A to close. So that's, that's fun. What upgrade did I just get? I totally did not read that. I think it's a hull upgrade. I think it was a hull upgrade. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll need it for... Actually, I think the next boss battle... I'm probably going to eat my words, but I think the next boss battle is not so bad. <gasps> I've never gone through here before. So they're definitely... I, a missile, I assume? Yeah, you need the, the missile. Once you get the missiles, the whole world becomes a lot more open to you. Um, but I haven't gone back through everything yet to see what else there is in store for me since I, I beat the game. But that's because I just beat it today. Mm -hmm. So um, Didn't get all the extra little tidbits yeah and like that's that's kind of nice too that there are a lot of little tidbits throughout the game i think at a certain point like there are some bosses that are so so challenging that you kind of need to mm -hmm. go f explore and get some upgrades um Aww, little guys look at them ah! <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad you that you did what i was thinking 
So, well, I guess we'll we have uh, a boss battle. The tranquil. So in all, so so far, boss battle in this game is actually a redundant term. Yeah, it really is just the game. Yeah, um, it's that's that's the only battle you have is oh, oh god oh no. god oh god oh god oh this is this is the boss I was dead. talking about yeah if you get pinned in between things you just die now fortunately they teach you that like they teach you that real hard with this boss um, but it's okay because the tentacles are pretty slow really the only time it's actually going to kill you is if uh, you just get yourself put in a really bad situation or if you're just slow and derpy like I was. Why do they call it the Tranquil, I wonder? I don't know, but... Oh, did you just saw that off? Yup. And actually, awesome. it took me a while to realize that, and it's specifically because... Oop, oh, oop. you are dead. Damn. Dang. So can you cut it off at, like, any point once it's damaged enough? Yep, exactly. So you want to aim lower, but at the same time, in order to get lower, you have to cut higher. There's, there's a, a decent trick to this, so I'm gonna... Just go ahead and do that. But it actually took me a while to realize that you need to use the saw for this boss. Because after... So we'll, we'll kind of see it. Ooh, boy. Um, but once you damage... Oh, nope, should have stayed where you're at. I, I just tapped the button accidentally. But once you saw through... Or once you damage a point to the, where it can be sawed, it still flickers red. Uh, so I was like, oh, I should just keep shooting it then, right? Nope. I think what they needed to do was, well, uh, okay, what's your opinion on this? Do you think they should have, like, stopped that damage flicker? Or do you think they should keep it so that the player knows that it still is something that they can interact with? Probably keep it so that it is something they, that they can interact with. Uh, because you might forget exactly where. Yeah, and, and I guess... Maybe, but at the same time, it does look different, like right there. Exactly. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe really, what it is is that if. Um, so you just win now, right? Uh, maybe I have to totally kill his tentacles. Oh no, I know what I need to do. Poke him in the eye. <laughs> I think they call him the tranquil because he just kind of like sits here and takes it. Yeah, I, he's that, not that really was... fighting me. He's just kind of like letting his tentacles go with the flow. He also doesn't really seem to mind that you're shooting him and everything until you're actually getting him in the eye. Like, I'm pretty sure most things would still feel and dislike having their tentacle cut off. Yeah, I mean, he definitely... Ooh. Oh, where Ooh. are you? Oh, okay, there you yeah, are. I definitely lost sight of myself for a second there. It's fun, though. Like, I, 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 I could see the... See, this is one of those fights that if it was like Titan Souls esque, right, where you you it could be like the challenge Whoa. of just getting to him in the first place, and then once you do, you just hit him like one or two times and bam. Yeah. Um, but you, I guess you didn't really have to hit him that much in the eye or the mouth anyway, so no, that was fine. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I think the idea is, is that probably most players hit him in the eye before like taking out all the tentacles, and I don't think you even need to take out all the tentacles. Um, in order to, to like get to the mouth, get to the mouth, don't. yeah. Um, but yeah. So okay, I, I was thinking about this. What? How do you feel about sort of the lack of like, I guess like challenge in the areas in between the bosses? Not that they're totally challenge free, right? Because I I've still died. Um, but there aren't really like a ton of monsters. We mostly get just like plants and mines, things that are just sort of idle or shooting like things in one direction it's interactive or it's uh environmental challenges is is really what's why is your tentacle all the way up there you know whatever Ooh. um honestly i actually don't mind it oh, oh, oh no oh, oh. oh no oh but oh i want my dash ability so bad we were talking about this off camera too, about how like once you get used to having something, when you go back and you don't have it anymore, like a dash ability, it's so hard to get used to it. Anybody who's played Mega Man X and then gone back and played it again, you, you'll you know what he's talking about. You're like, oh man, cool. And then all of a sudden you play and you don't have the dash ability and the very first thing you do is pick the dash ability up because it's just horrendous without it. Yeah. You seem to be pretty safe in that corner. Yeah, that was what I, I did first when I before I like actually figured out how to combat this guy. Um, 
in my first playthrough. So I went over here and just like shot his eye and then he freaked out and I was like, okay, wh what now? And uh, didn't realize I could chop down his tentacles. <laughs> Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. I can. Um. So overall, no. I think that the the, the areas in between, it, it's about, it's almost. You know, I'd say it's it's a, a Metroidvania exploration game. Uh, and it's not like explorative and sandbox style, but it's like we have this story to tell you, and we want you to see it. And so that's kind of what's happening in between. And then the boss challenges are there to, I guess. Boss battles are there to challenge you as a player to see, like, just to add amount of difficulty to the game that otherwise wouldn't be there. That's fair. I think the other really interesting thing is that the boss battles themselves are sort of a point of discovery. You don't know where they are. They just, you kind of mostly stumble upon them. You really do. And you can kind of tell when you're, you're coming up on one because you're like, this is a big area, like, it, there's gonna be some shit going down here. Um, but it's not always the case, too. I think they're very smart Ooh. with this specific fight because there's four tentacles, and you see the other four in the background. And then so instead of it being like, oh, man, he respawned his tentacles. No, I could see where they were at the whole time. Yeah, I, I actually really, really liked that, too. I thought that was, was clever design. Very, very clever. And at first, too, when I, when I first played this, I was like, why are there tentacles in the background that are just not oh, man. doing anything? Maybe you have to try again next time. Because Are you know, we past time? Yep. Okay. Uh, well, we'll beat him in the next episode, folks. Um, in the meantime... Uh, question of the day. Question of the day. I guess, what do you think about having kind of like the, the levels in between the bosses? How, how do you feel about them not really having much other than like some basic environmental challenges? Um, it's more about interacting with them rather than actually challenging them. I'd say, get it, get it, get it. Oh. Oh, hero. Uh-oh. Yeah, ooh. Uh, uh, hero. Hero. <laughs> All right, but no, really, we got to go. So, All right. um... Well, thank you, everybody, for watching, and we will see you in the next episode as we... We will see you in the next guy. episode. Press A. Close the window. <laughs> Bye.